So today I wanted to do a video on um, affordable deep conditioners for natural hair. So I do have natural hair. My hair is just kind of pulled back in a bun. And um, I've been natural um, for a total of, I guess since 2011, so seven years. But um, in between that time, I did relax my hair twice. Um, and I did big chop three times. So... Um, in the seven years, I've kind of learned a lot about natural hair, um, my hair specifically, obviously, because that's what's on my head, but um, I kind of figured out what works for me and where I can cut corners and prices and kind of where I can't. So um, the products that I'm going to be talking about today are going to be all deep conditioners and they're going to be affordable deep conditioners. I do have some high-end conditioners. Um, if you look to the left, well the right of me um this is kind of my product shelf so right um up here is where i keep all of my hair products and then this is all of my body products so i do have quite a bit of um hair products but um i do kind of rotate them out for winter and summer and all that jazz so anyway if you're interested in seeing some affordable deep conditioners and pre-poo conditioners keep watching so um, ooh, I have a little bin here of all the conditioners that I'm going to be talking about. So the first conditioner that I'm going to mention, um, it's a protein conditioner and it's a treatment for weak and damaged hair. Um, a lot of the, um, a lot of the deep conditioners and pre-poos that I'm going to be talking about today, um, are going to be mainly for damaged hair specifically because in the past I've had color treated hair. So my hair has been bleached. Um, so these are the conditioners that I use regardless. So the first one is the Organics by Africa's, Africa's Best Hair Mayonnaise. So it looks like this. And you can get this at the beauty supply store. And it's normally between 5 to $6. I paid $4.49 for mine. So there's the price that you can see. And this is what it looks like. And this one has olive oil in it. And it says that it's a treatment um, for weak damaged hair. It has natural herbs, olive oil, and egg protein. So let's see the ingredients here. Um, water and glycerin um, are in the top two. And then they have some other... Um, they There is an alcohol in it, but um, in terms of the top five ingredients... Aqua, um, water, glycerin, olive oil are in the top five, so I'm okay with that. And I really like this treatment because it helps to make my hair feel stronger. It's cheap and it does the job. Um, a little tidbit is all of these deep conditioners that I am going to mention, I do mix them together. Um, I generally don't use them by themselves. You can if you want to. Like if you want this to be your staple protein treatment, you can go ahead and do that. But I like to mix um, my deep conditioners together so I get some protein and I get some moisture. So this one is really nice for that. Then the next one um, that I really like that I do use on its own but I prefer to mix it in. I think it works better. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Extraordinary Oil, Complex, Oil Complex Oil Curls. And it looks like this. And I think this is like 5 or $6 from Walgreens. I'm going to give you a close-up so you can kind of see. And here is what it looks like on the inside. Yeah, there we go. So this is a really thick mask, but I like it because when I wash my hair off, when I wash it out of my hair, uh, my hair has really good shine. And I can use this to detangle, um, I can run my fingers through my hair and detangle my hair. So typically I'll use the hair mayonnaise and this together and I'll use that as a pre-poo treatment. So like my hair dry like this, I would microwave um, for 30 seconds, this, uh, two spoonfuls of this conditioner, one spoonful of the um, Africa's Best, and I would pre-poo my hair with that. So the next conditioner I'm going to talk about, I really like this one. It's really cheap. 
Um, it's new. Well, the packaging says new. And this is the TCB Naturals Argan Oil from Morocco Deep Conditioning Treatment. Um, TCB used to make relaxers back in the day. And now they have a um, natural hairline. So it says that there's no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, no sulfates, formaldehyde, or DEA, which is great because um, parabens are synthetic materials. Petroleum, as we know, is Vaseline, and it doesn't penetrate this. Um, it doesn't penetrate the hair strands. So is mineral oil. No sulfates to dry your hair out. No formaldehyde, which is an embalming substance, and no DEAs. And they, um, it's made with vitamin E and olive oil. So this is what it looks like. And this one is $3.99 from my local beauty supply store. Um, the top five ingredients, let's see. Um, water, glycerin, soybean oil, argan oil, olive oil, vitamin E, coconut oil. You can mix it in if you want. I like this because my hair is really fine. And um, like the other conditioners that are much thicker because they're mask, um, this one doesn't weigh my hair down as much, which is why I use those as pre-poo pre treatments as opposed to this. And this is what the consistency looks like. So I really like this, and I've used quite a bit of it, about half a jar, but it's $4, so I think that's a really good um, investment. Then the next one is another one from the drugstore, and this is the Garnier Whole Blends Nourishing Mask. Looks like this. This is the uh, avocado oil and shea butter one. Uh, let's see ingredients. Oh, this is also paraben free, and um, it's also like kind of like the Shea Moisture Community brands, where they give back to the communities where they source the products. Um, this one has on the top five glycerin, water, there is some alcohol, shea butter, argan oil, and it has aloe vera juice, and it has sunflower seed and rosemary and all that jazz. But this is a really thick mask, so um, I tend to mix this in as a pre-poo. You can see here. It's not really coming out. So it's a really thick one, and I've used quite a bit of this as well. Um, and this is another one um, that I can pick and mix in with all the other ones so far um i would say like this is like my favorite um because this is moisturizing but again because it's so thick and my hair is fine um i have to make sure that i heat this conditioner up so that it can absorb into um, my hair strands so if you have thicker hair you would definitely really really like this and um i believe those are like 4.99 five dollars as well now the next couple products, um, actually no, let's move on to this one. Um, this is one of my favorites for Maui Moisture. This is the Strength and Breakage Agave Hair Mask. This one is pricey. It's normally between $10 and $11, but I like to get it from Walgreens when it's buy one, get one half off. But this is what this mask looks like. And I love this brand. Um, it has no silicones, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no sulfate, sulfated surfacants meaning um, there's no sodium lauryl sulfate, which is SLS, but then there aren't any other um, sulfate ending ATE words at all in this. So sometimes um, the product won't have any SLS, but I'll have SFS, which is a whole other different sulfate. So this means there's no sulfates at all. There's no synthetic dyes. It's vegan, it's eco-friendly, it's made with pure coconut water and pure aloe juice. So the top five ingredients in this is um, aloe vera leaf juice, water, coconut oil. There is an alcohol. Um, there's castor oil. There's coconut oil, shea butter, macadamia, and it goes on. So I really like this mask because it's all natural. This I can use by itself, um, and I tend to use it that way because it's so expensive. Um, you can use this by itself and it can also be used as a leave-in conditioner. So all of the Maui Moisture um, hair masks can be used as leave-in conditioners. They work well um, either way. I have um, texture 4A to 4C hair, so it works really well and this gives me a lot of slip that I can um, detangle and rake my hair through um, while I'm in the shower. So this is a really good one if you can shed out the extra um, 
cash because so far all the other deep conditioners are like five dollars seven dollars um, around that area, but this one is generally about like $10, $9.99 to about um, $12. But this one is really, really good. If you have it, it'll last you quite a bit. I've used it about 10 times and I still have a good amount in there. So um, the last conditioners that I'm going to be talking about, they're just, they're rug, they some of them are regular rinse out conditioners, but they can be used as deep conditioners. So this one is from ORS, um, the Manoy oil line, and it is an anti-breakage fortifying conditioner with omega-3 and 6. And it says that it fortifies conditions and replenishes dry, weak hair. So it looks like this. And um, as you can see, the price here is $5.99. Um, this is a um, rinse out conditioner, but it can be used um, as a deep conditioner. So it says here, um, directions for use. For deep conditioning, leave on hair for 20 minutes with a plastic cap and sit under a hooded dryer. So um, I like to use this alone by itself as a deep conditioner as per the directions. And it's really, really good for that as well. Also from the same line, um, this is the anti-breakage leave-in conditioning cream with omega-3 and 6. It looks like that. And Manoy oil is um, Tahitian coconut oil. So um, that's really good. Um, it's to help reduce protein loss for stronger hair. So this is the second protein treatment besides the um, organics mayonnaise that I like to use. Um, you can use this as a leave-in conditioner, as a protein, but this can also be used as a deep conditioning treatment. So um, deep conditioning hair treatment, apply liberally to clean, wet, detangled hair, comb through for even distribution, and cover hair with a plastic cap and sit under a dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or leave in overnight. I like to leave this in overnight as a pre-poo and wash it out, or you can use this as a regular deep conditioner. Um, the price for this is $5.99 as well. Those products are also sold at Walgreens, so you can get them, um, you can get them, the, like the two of them together for under eight bucks if you do the buy one, get one half off sale that they have. Um, this is another Garnier Whole, Whole Blends um, conditioner. This is my favorite one out of the line. I've tried all of them, and this is the Repairing Conditioner, the Honey Treasures. And it looks like this. I like to use this as a rinse out conditioner after my shampoo. I include it in my pre-poos, and I can also, if I'm making a DIY um, hair conditioning mask, I also use this. And you can see, like, it's all dented up, and I have about, like... The, you can see right here the line. I have about like that much left. This is a really good deep conditioner and these are normally $3.99. Now the last two conditioners are really expensive conditioners, but the way that I like to get them is in the packets. And these are the Shea Moisture conditioners only because um, I don't use them all the time. Before I used to buy a lot of Shea Moisture conditioners, but um, I found the two that work for me. So I use these like every other month or like whenever I feel like my hair needs a really really good uh, like overhaul deep conditioning I'll go ahead and use these so this one is the Jamaican and black castor oil strengthening restore treatment mask with shea butter peppermint and keratin so this is what it looks like and I'll typically use um, like I deep condition my hair once every week but um, if like I had a protective styling or something like that, this is what I will go for. And the other one is when my hair is like super, super dry. I tend to use this one more in the winter time. And this is the Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Treatment Hydration Mask. So it looks like that. And these packets are $3.50 each. But again, if you go to Walgreens and you buy them when it's... Um, Buy one, get one half off. You pay like four or five bucks for the two of these, which is great considering a tube of these is like, a tub is like between 10 and $12. And because I don't use them often, it's better for me to just pay $5 and get to use them whenever I want versus um, investing in a whole tub and I don't really use it that much. Because these you can't really mix in with other conditioners like if like the other ones that I have. So they're, you solely have to use them alone. So another tidbit that um, I wanted to include, um, hold on, I have to grab it. 
Okay, so another tidbit that I forgot to um, mention with the rest of the deep conditioners is every single one of them, there is not um, one of these conditioners that I do not mix with oil. Even the ones that I use alone, like the Maui Moisture, um, because I'm really focusing on length retention and keeping my hair moisturized, I always add oil to my deep conditioner whether I'm in the shower and I'm just using a rinse out deep conditioner like the Maui Moisture. I always have oil in there to, um, to add to the conditioner. So in terms of my pre-poos and my deep conditioners, these are the oils that I use. So um, I put, this is the 100% um, natural peppermint oil, looks like this. And you can get this from Walgreens. I think this is like eight or nine dollars. But again, you could buy it when they have buy one get one half off in the hair aisle. And then these two are the Jamaica Mango and Lime, the Extra Dark Black Castor Oil, and the Castor Oil and Tea Tree. They look like this. And these are seven ninety nine. You can buy them in the buy one get one half off. That's what I like to do because they're pretty expensive. So instead of paying sixteen dollars. I'll pay $12 for two oils, and these last a really long time. So um, what I like to do for my pre-poos is I pick whatever combination of conditioners that I want, like I just showed you guys, and I'll put a um, two tablespoons of moisturizing deep conditioner, one tablespoon of protein, or like, you know, whatever fancy, like strength building treatment conditioner there is, I'll warm those up in the microwave for about 30 seconds and I don't heat up the oils because in the microwave because that'll break down um, it'll break the oil down and deplete it of its nutrients so I just like to pour it in after I've mixed the conditioners together and whatever heat is left in there um, will help these mix in with the conditioner so typically I'll add about five drops five to eight drops of this peppermint oil and then I'll do the tea tree and the extra dark together and I'll mix it together whether I'm in the shower or I'm just doing a pre-poo or a deep conditioner under a hooded dryer. Um, that is kind of what helped me grow my hair the fastest. Um, although I do have some high-end um, deep conditioners, I just find it best when I use conditioners that I like the ingredients and then ones that I can kind of add together and add oils and, you know, kind of make it my own. Because before when I was buying the store-bought um, store conditioners, I wasn't really liking them. A lot of them left my hair dry. Um, it just didn't work for me. But the ones that I mentioned to you before, I've been using them for the past three, four years and they work fine for me. I get slip, I'm able to detangle my hair and my hair is really, really moisturized. So I just wanted to come on here and share this information with any of you guys because um, I was a college student, a graduate student, and I know um, how hard it is to, you know, keep up with your natural hair and keep it done and moisturize and deep condition it and all this jazz while still trying to be on a budget. And it's really hard because a lot of these companies, you know, they want like 16 and 15 and 20 dollars for a um, deep conditioner and sometimes you know um you can't always do that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions um leave comments below and um i'll answer them if you have any um deep conditioner suggestions for me you can leave it down in the comment box bye and thanks so much for watching